Hi everyone, I'm Jane at Rockin' Worms. Welcome. I am still dealing with my mass worm die-off disaster that happened on my patio several weeks ago now. And it was mainly because I had some heat spikes, sudden heat spikes, and the bins got too hot and the worms just couldn't tolerate the extreme temperatures. I had saved out the worms along the edges as best I could and put them in some larger, a larger tote inside the house and also set some of them up into my regular bins here so I could, you know, again, save who I could. Now, what I am finding out, however, is some of my uh, saviors, some of the survivors are not acting like normal worms, okay? They tend to be either very sluggish or even perhaps, you know, you can see that, see how it's moving? Well, it was just a second ago. Did you see that? Let's see if it's moving. It may have expired. Um, oh, there it is. Did you see that? Okay, so it's moving, but very slowly, very sluggishly. And I, I don't know if it's, on its way out of this world or if it is you know internally damaged from the heat or it just you know needs time to recover like you know i i just don't know okay and i'm seeing that in another bin as well just to show you um that there are worms in here and some of them seem okay, right? But some of them seem very sluggish. Even in the bright camera lights, they're just, you know, not responding well. So what I am going to do here is give them a test. And it's kind of like the strong survive. And those that are not are gonna go out into my garden and, um, you know, do what they do there. So what I want to do is I'm going to use this bin, I think. Um, I was going to use the other bin, but I'll use this one. They're both, again, the same from the Black Beauty and the 45 gallon bin on the patio. I'll, I'll link that uh, that video where I, where I share what happened there down in the description. But what I'm going to do is I've decided that I'm going to set up this bin in a horizontal migration, and I'm gonna do the other one as well, and give the worms that are in good shape, that are strong and surviving, recovering, an opportunity to get down into a feed zone so I can then scoop them out and incorporate them into my other healthy bins, all right? And again, the ones that aren't so good are gonna go out into the garden, all right? So let's set up a horizontal migration here. I'm just going to move them down to the non-working end of the bin. I just identify working end and non-working end of my bin by the end I keep my notes on. Can you see the notes, cameraman? So if the notes are on the, you know, the, whatever end of the bin the notes are on, that's my working end of the bin. That's where I put the food zone and fresh bedding and things like that. All right, so this is pretty much it. I still wanna keep below my self-imposed limit because I still need to, you know, work with this bin and uh, get it back on my shelf safely. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do here. And what I'm going to do to give the strong worms the best incentive I can to move down into a food zone, a migration zone, I'm going to add some of my basic bedding, which is the uh, pre-compost mixed with sifted cow manure and some water just to, you know, moisten it up. And I'm gonna give them a little layer of this, which will be uh, full of nice biota and natural foods for them with the uh, cow manure. 
Did you know that red wigglers are also called manure worms? And that's because they like manures. So they're going to naturally be attracted to this bedding. And then, as we know from the video I did a little while ago using corn on the cob, leftover, you know, the, the cobs left from eating dinner, the worms in those experiment bins, I mean, loved the corn on the cob. So I think this is a super good lure to use in this bin to again, tempt the survivor worms down to the working end of the bin. All right, so that was a little worm chow, which is just various dry ingredients. Most of it is uh, other farm foods or farm feeds like for, uh, I'm sorry, for pigs and horses and things like that because it's you know grain based and worms like that and then that was veggie powder which is 100 percent dehydrated fruits and vegetables and i'm going to give them a little grit as well because worms do need grit for their food grinding they don't have teeth so they use grit to grind their food up in their gizzards all right so we're almost uh done giving these guys the best chance that we can. I'm going to cover it up with more of the basic bedding mix. And that's pretty good. What I'm gonna do, I think, also, is I'm just gonna moisten this up a little bit. The, the uh, basic bedding mix has good moisture to it. You can see it's holding together, but it's a little crumbly. And I want to make this zone as tempting as possible for the survivors. So I'm going to add just a little bit more moisture. Okay. All right. So let me get the newspaper that I'm going to use to cover this zone. Now, I could choose to cover the whole bin up and kind of leave it as a foraging. I'm going to turn this over so that stays down a little bit easier. Um, to, to leave it as a foraging, all covered up. But since I want the worms to really migrate down to the food zone, I'm going to give them further encouragement to make that trek by leaving this end of the bin open so it also dries down and that drier environment will also encourage the worms to move into the working end of the bin okay so now they have two reasons to move their worm butt into the working end of the bin that is the yummy food lure that i've just set up and also the slow reduction of moisture in this end of the bin all right so let me just put the plastic cover on again to keep the moisture in the preferred end of the bin and let this dry down. All right, so that's really all I'm doing here. And I've got my fingers crossed that I'm going to have more worms make that migration than I think there will be, right? So fingers crossed I have more survivors than I fear that I may not have. All right, so let's check in again on this bin in about mm, five days, three, five days, okay? And see how they're doing and see what kind of uh, action we get, all right? So yeah, that's it. All right, I will see you on the next video. I am yours in the dirt, Jane.